Hello everyone, I am Kritika Garg, a final year MBBA student from AIMS Mohali. Today I am going to demonstrate the Watson's water hammer pulse or the Corrigan's pulse seen mainly in patients of aortic regurgitation. In aortic regurgitation, there is backflow of the blood from the aorta to the left ventricle due to the incompetent aortic valve. Due to this, the end diastolic volume of the left ventricle increases, thus increasing the preload. As we know, according to the Frank Starting's law, the contracting power of the ventricles is directly proportional to the preload. As the preload increases, the contracting power of the left ventricle also increases. Due to this strong contraction of the left ventricle, we feel a sudden gush of blood in the artery of the patient which is felt in the form of a pounding pulse which is rapidly rising and rapidly falling. This is the water hammer pulse. Nowadays, in today's scenario, the water hammer pulse is often misunderstood to mean merely a radial pulse of abnormally large volume. But in reality, the corrigan pulse is not only characterized by a large volume, but also by the transmission of a sudden shock to the examiner's hand that is grasping the wrist of the patient. There are a lot of variations to demonstrate this pulse. However, in this video, I will be discussing two methods. So, first of all, I will feel the radial pulse of the patient. I am able to feel her pulse. Now, I will obliterate the radial artery, applying some more pressure with my fingers. Now, I am going to elevate the arm of the patient. I just felt a sudden shock of blood in the artery of the patient. Not only that, I also noticed that the pulse I am feeling now is of higher volume than the previous pulse. First of all, I will hold the forearm of the patient with my left hand and I will try to feel her pulsations. Uh, it is important to note that these pulsations are not normally felt in a person. However, as this is a patient of aortic regurgitation, I might be able to feel her pulsations. I am able to feel her pulsations in the forearm. Now, I will palpate the radial artery and try to feel for the radial pulse with my right hand. The pulsations felt in both of my hands should be the same. This is important to make sure that the pulsations felt in my left hand are of the patient and not of the examiner. Now, I will slightly release the pressure of my left hand so that I am no longer able to feel the pulsations of the patient. Now, I will raise the arm of the patient applying force with my right hand without changing the pressure being applied by my left hand. Now, I am able to feel the pulsations of the patient in the forearm with my left hand again. Elevating the arm of the patient leads to backflow of the blood from the arteries to the left ventricle due to aortic regurgitation. As explained earlier, due to the Frank Starling's law, we feel a sudden gush of blood in the artery of the patient. It has also been observed that in the patient of aortic regurgitation, when we elevate the arm of the patient, uh, there is increased pulsations recorded over the radial artery in cases where the arm is placed at a vertical uh, level rather than a horizontal level. This was all about the Watson's water hammer pulse.